Welcome back dear friends. Today we are going to talk about vacuum distillation unit in oil refinery and this is the part 4 of uh, lectures that is related to the oil processing. So in this tutorial we are going to learn how to simulate vacuum distillation column to treat atmospheric uh, crude distillation residue to further separate uh, the beneficial uh, fraction like light vacuum gas oil and heavy vacuum gas oil and wax wax and uh, in the end the residue from uh, vdu unit so this one is the final simulation so from here we already have simulated part one that was related to the crude oil preheat train the second part was related to atmospheric crude distillation third part was related to debutanizer to stabilize light naphtha and today we are going to simulate the atmospheric residue to have these uh, fractions okay so let's move to the problem statement here we have uh, a very uh, simplified flow sheet we can say uh, the atmospheric residue is mixed with steam at these condition the reason to introduce steam in atmospheric residue is to increase the velocity why because if we do not increase the uh, velocity and this fluid is quite thick so in the heater uh, it will start to burn out and uh, it will develop the cork formation inside the tubes that will further reduce the heat transfer efficiency and may cause accident in future so to avoid this problem to avoid the problem of uh, choking of these tubes we introduce the uh, high velocity steam here okay and then after heating at particular temperature like uh, 660 Fahrenheit we introduce uh, this feed into the vacuum column that has a vacuum around 180 millimeter of mercury at 0 degree C and we also have introducing the vacuum steam at the bottom and this column don't have condenser and reboiler and these are our products light vacuum gas oil heavy vacuum gas oil and slope wax so these are our uh, final products so let's move to build this simulation in aspen high seas so now we are in aspen high seas and uh, this is the flow sheet that we already have developed in uh, previous three tutorials so I am giving the, uh, the link of uh, these three tutorials in the description. Just go and check for better understanding of this tutorial. So let's start to build the flow sheet. Okay, so for that we need one mixer, one heater and uh, one distillation column. For that go to separators and select an absorber why because uh, we in in the problem statement it's given that this column don't have condenser and reboiler okay so we will use uh, absorber as a distillation column and uh, you will see how we can simulate uh, this kind of column okay so then let's start uh, from mixer the first stream uh, that is uh, atmospheric residue the second one is a uh, steam that is uh, uh, being uh, uh, injected to enhance the velocity of atmospheric uh, uh, crude residue to avoid coke formation that i already discussed so i will say steam atm and the outlet is uh, vdu heater heat okay and after that uh, click on heater and uh, the input is uh, vdu heater feed and the output is vdu vacuum distillation column feed okay and the energy is we will say vdu q okay so let's first change the icon of uh, this one to this one okay and uh, 
specify the steam so here the conditions of steam are given flow rate is 20,000 pound per hour okay so the mass flow rate is 20,000 pound per hour uh, temperature was 500 degree Fahrenheit and the pressure was 150 psi gauge so uh, the only one thing that we have to specify here is the composition because it's steam we are going to specify one for water and normalize all the stream and then click ok so this stream is fully specified okay and uh, here at the uh, inlet of vacuum distillation column the pressure temperature is given so the uh, temperature 760 and pressure is 180 millimeter of mercury okay so let's specify this one so the temperature is 750 and the pressure is 180 100 180 millimeter mercury at zero degree c okay so close this one so you can see we have uh, uh, successfully simulated until the feed of vacuum distillation so let's start to simulate the final vacuum distillation column so the first just change vdu and uh, the number of stages for that total number are 14 and the feed stage is 12 okay so just change here 14 and uh, uh, it is video feed and the feed is being introduced at stage number 12 and the bottom uh, stage inlet it is uh, video steam okay and the overhead we will say the overhead product okay and uh, liquid inlet no we don't have we have the information of pump arounds okay and here we have uh, further information uh, the first pump around it is being drawn from stage number or the tray number four and return on top tray okay so uh, it is drawn on stage number four and the optional side draws so here are the uh, uh, products that are being drawn okay and for that uh, we have information we have products of th there are three products lvgo hvgo and slope wax okay so we have to introduce all of them here so let's start with lvgo enter and then hvgo enter and finally the last one uh, slope wax enter and uh, the type is uh, liquid and the draw stage okay we have to specify here the draw stage so for lvgo uh, stage number four hvgo eight and slope wax it on uh, stage number 11 so four eight and eleven so first one is four second one is eight and the last one is 11 okay just double check 4 8 and 11 and the bottom uh, liquid outlet is uh, vdu residue okay so we specify the first page of this uh, wizard then go to the next here we have to specify top and bottom pressure that are also given so the top pressure here is 50 millimeter of mercury and the bottom is 62 okay so let's specify first top 50 and then uh, 62 
then click next and uh, here we have to specify the pump around so the the first or the top pump around is lvgo uh, pump around so here we have to specify this one so just go here the flow rate is 22300 okay so 22300 and the second spec is given as a return temperature that is 85 degree fahrenheit okay so you can see here uh, 85 uh, so sorry uh, so it is this one so the outlet temperature adjusted to control to, uh, top temperature of the tower approximately 85 degree fahrenheit okay and the top and bottom temperature so the top temperature is uh, around 180 degree fahrenheit okay so we can specify here 180 and the bottom temperature for uh, vacuum distillation column is uh, usually between 750 to 800 degree fahrenheit okay then click on done then this new window will open and here we have to specify the pump arounds that we have for that just uh, enter into the side option input stream expert so here we do not have reboiler side stripper so just sp skip on it and click next we do not have steam strippers so click next we do not have side rectifier click next so we have pump around so this one is the first pump around i will change its name okay top stage inside of top stage it is uh, lvgo pump around click enter and then you can see here the name is already changed okay we are going to insert second pump around that is hvgo okay and uh, for that we have to specify the draw stage and uh, return stage so the draw stage is 8 return stage is 5 so 8 and 5 and then install after that go to the next we do not have vapor bypass connection click next here we have to specify again the uh, second pump around flow rate okay that is given here it is 50,000 and uh, the temperature 150 degree C cooling it means it is the temperature difference so that is the delta T 50,000 okay so 50,000 barrel per day instead of duty we have delta t and uh, it is 150 degree fahrenheit okay okay then click next here uh, we will have uh, zero pressure drop okay and then you just click on done so you specify the pump around next step is we have to specify the uh, efficiencies of different trays for that uh, we have to uh, write here the uh, number of uh, efficiency for example here stage 2 to stage 11 has 50 percent of efficiency so just write here uh, 0 0.5 and uh, select all these stages uh, until stage number 11 okay and then specify then uh, stage 12 has 100 percent and 13 and 14 is 30 percent okay so here we have to specify 0 0.3 so the last two stages just select and specify so we have specified the efficiencies next go to the design go to monitor and check uh, how many uh, specification we have here 
so here you can see we have three check uh, in front of lvgo hvgo and slope wax rate but we do not have values but we have to specify here their values so just double click on it then this new window will appear and uh, the flow bases are given in molar but we have standard ideal flow uh, in liquid form so the lvgo product rate is given so these these are the products and lvgo is coming out from tray number four with the flow rate of 5000 barrel per day okay so just specify 5000 here and close this one then hvgo rate we have to again change from molar to uh, standard ideal uh, volume and uh, hvgo the product rate is uh, 21000 so just write here 21000 barrel per day okay close this one and the last spec is slope wax okay for slope wax we have uh, the uh, product rate is 1000 barrel so just sorry uh, i have to change first uh, basis and then 1000 barrel per day okay so here we have uh, uh, already specified all the desired components but here we uh, we want to add one extra uh, spec for that just click on add and i want to add the temperature specification for column top so uh, for that just click on column temperature add spec and here the stage is top stage and the spec value we know that the top temperature was 180 degree fahrenheit and click on this then again go to the monitor okay here you can see degree of freedom is already zero but i want that uh, the top temperature specification should be active and uh, the top stage uh, pump around temperature i am going to deactivate it okay and after that we just have to click on run but you can see when i am clicking on run it is not converging so i think i did not have specify some of the stream for example if i come here so you can see i did not specify the vacuum distillation column input steam uh, okay so just double click on this and i have to give the specification of the stream that is the temperature of steam 150 and the pressure was 150 psig if i am not mistaken let me check here so it is 150 yes and the uh, uh, flow rate is 20000 pound per hour okay so pound per hour it is here 20000 pound per hour next step is go to the composition select uh, one in front of water and normalize all the components and then click okay so when i just uh, specify the vacuum distillation column uh, steam specification the vacuum distillation unit is already converged you can see i hope you understand this tutorial so this is the way how you can simulate uh, oil processing unit that is the refinery and this simulation is uh, steady state simulation uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel for upcoming videos uh, more uh, advanced like dynamic simulation of these kind of units until next video take care bye bye